Hi everyone! In today's tutorial we are going to create step-by-step -step Kaunashi's mask from the movie Spirited Away. We are going to make it entirely using EVA foam, so I hope you like it. Let's do it! The first thing we need are the patterns, and as always, you will find them for free in the description box below. If you happen to use the materials that I provide, please leave a like on the video so the channel can keep on growing. You will need to cut and assemble this pattern until you get a piece like the one you see on the video. I'm going to transfer this pattern to a 5mm piece of EVA foam. You could also use like a 3mm one or a much bigger one like the puzzle pieces that are pretty easy to find anywhere. Another option that is great is cheap yoga mats. Here I already have all my pieces already transferred and in total we need 4 of them. Now we can take an X-Acto knife and cut out the silhouettes. As you can see I keep on the phone the pen marks that we are going to use later to assemble everything. Now before we start doing that we need to shape these pieces and for that we will need a heat gun. But, if like me, you don't have one of these, you can also use like a hair dryer at maximum power. So let's heat up these pieces, like a lot, a lot, so we can give them a little bit of curvature. It's time to build the base of the mask, and for that what we need is contact cement. For this DIY, please do not use a hot glue gun, because it's not going to work. So. We need to apply a thin layer of product on both of the surfaces that we want to glue together. We are going to wait until it's not wet or sticky to the touch, and carefully, let's go for it. As you may notice, I tried to match all the pen marks that I left on the EVA foam before. It's super easy, and we just have to do the same with the rest. Now. Let's go and grab more foam, because we are not done yet. For this, we only need a sheet of the thinniest EVA foam you could find, and of course, the hair dryer again, or the heat gun. I will start by heating up this piece of EVA foam, and then shaping it against the base of our mask. That small portion that we just shaped needs to be glued to the base, and yet, we need more contact cement. It is important to make sure that everything is really, really smooth. Again, doing the same, let's shape together another side just a little bit more, and we will have to glue it again. At some point in this tedious process you will end up with some wrinkles like this one here. To get rid of them, I just cut along them and remove some material until the joints of both sides look like really flat. And don't mind the lines on the EVA foam because later, after we give texture and we do the paint job, no one will be able to see them. It is a long process, but having a flat surface to work with is going to make everything easier later. I recommend you to get rid of the edges of the mask and it will be almost done. And what I'm about to do, it's 100% optional. Because what I'm going to do is take my rotatory tool or Dremel with a sanding head to reduce all the weird wrinkles and stretched lamps that basically are on the surface. It's not necessary, believe me, it is not, but I'm just a bit of a perfectionist. Look for good references of the film, and with the mask looking straight at you, with a pencil you can begin to sketch out the features. Once you are happy with the result, you can proceed to mark it using a pen. Ok. Let's grab again the X-Acto knife to cut out the eyes and the mouth. And please be really, really careful with your fingers. 
If like me you have this tool, you can also sand down like the edges of the mouth and the eyes. I even use a stone head to leave everything really really smooth, but yeah, it's optional again. I use the same method to sand down the edges of the mask, but have in mind that everyone works with its own resources, so don't be too harsh on yourself if you cannot do this step. Now we have the mask almost ready, and the only thing left is the fun part, I guess. For some of the details I'm going to take a pyrograph, I don't know if you pronounce it that way, but you could stop at this point if you do not like the texture that I decided to give the mask and just paint it. What I'm going to do with this amazing antique tool is to create along the mask some lines to emulate the texture of wood. Then, as an experiment, I decided to burn the edges of the parts that we will have to paint in purple later. I think that I like how it looks in that way. And if this texture is not enough, or you need another tool to make it, you can use again the Dremel. With it we can create the same lines along the mask, always in the same direction, and with different pressures at different spots. As you can see, I go back and forth using both methods until I am pretty much satisfied with the overall look. And yeah, here we have the mask, so let's prime it. For the new ones, Priming is really, really important for these EVA projects. It will cover the pores of the foam so that the paint slides better and lasts longer. I always offer two easy options for that. White glue or vinyl latex. And a brush, of course. We have to apply a thin coat of the primer, all the brush strokes in the same direction, and then let it dry. Another layer and let it dry. We have to repeat this step up to four times at least, maybe less if you use white glue, but when you have it completely dry, we will be done for the paint job. I personally like to work on a even black surface, so I'm going to paint it using spray paint, but you could also use acrylics. Next, you will need some white acrylic paint and an old brush with thick bristles, that brushes that are almost useless for everything except this. And we are going to wet it a little bit, but I'm going to dab up the excess on a piece of paper so I can paint with what is left on the brush. Super important, again, all the brush strokes must be in the same direction, and as you can see, they are in the opposite direction of the texture we did before. If the paint is too wet or you have too much paint on the brush, it will be difficult to achieve this same effect. Once we are done, I'm going to take purple acrylics again to paint the details that I burned beforehand. When finished, using a light grey color, I will paint the shadows that I made under the chin and the eyes. And to finish up with everything, I will use dark violet to give some more texture to the details. And we are done! To make the inside part of the mask, I will use this black piece of cloth that, as you can see on camera, it's pretty much transparent. Since I don't want to make it super complicated, I'm going to use hot glue to stick everything in place, and that's it. Off camera, I decided to quickly paint the green EVA foam in black, and this is how it looks. I hope you like this tutorial, that you can put it into practice, and see you on the next video. Ciao!